What's up, guys? Desert B here with more Sinking City. We're on our way to... Uh, well, this thing in the, like, very, very near future. And then I think we're going to go to the police archives. We got some research to do to follow up on this case. Am I going the right way? No. No, I took a wrong turn. Clear water. Why clear water and not clean water? Come on. A little bit hard to navigate in the water. Here. There's this random place here to dock, and I just thought we're going to go pretty much right past it. We might as well, uh, might as well see what's in here, right? Let me get some... Man, I wish I had some bombs to equip, but that's okay. I hear something squishy and wet. It doesn't sound like anything I've heard before. Where is it? <gasps> oh, it's a... Uh, it's a... Uh, it's new! It's a brand new. Ah. Stay away from me. Oh my god, there's one behind me. Hi, hi. I don't have the uh, ammo for this. I'm just hitting all kinds of buttons here. Come on. I might die. Might die, you guys. Holy mackerel. We made it. Let me get a health kit going. That was a very stumpy version of the the little fast one. See? Worth. You get a pretty fair amount of loot. So let me see. In the inventory, I'm probably going to want to reload on some of this stuff. So I can do like... Two bullets here, two bullets here, five bullets, or four bullets here, or five, I guess five. Um, I really want to make some of these, but I think this gun and this gun are the highest power, so I'm just going to keep them loaded up. I can make a med kit, that's always good to have on hand. Might as well do a trap, I guess. Okay. Yeah, so I don't think this is part of any kind of a quest. I think uh, it's just a random place. You moron. Feel clever now, Lewis. Leaving that poor guy chained up in the basement. It got flooded. Good luck getting Mr. Carpenter's money from him now. I'm out. I'm not just going to sit here and wait for the Grim Reaper. Carpenter will feed you to the eels like for a blunder like this. Lewis. So that was the name of the first guy that we decided to save, which I kind of regret that decision now, but I'm hearing some weird noises. I, um, I wonder if it's the same guy. I'm being real cautious. I don't want to just run into some kind of a giant beast. You just never know in this game. <clears throat> Some more loot. Uh, an entire first aid kit. That's awesome. And I guess that's it. Is this... I don't think I can climb this, though. Oh, I can. I don't... Don't think there's any point, though. That's where I was. Yeah. So somebody... Somebody drowned down here. Apparently. But I don't think there's any reason to go and go for a swim. That sounds dangerous. Hmm. Okay, well, I don't know what that was all about, but uh, got some loot out of it. So, worth. 
Okay, we're continuing down um, here. I'm gonna try to get up here to the police department in our, oh look, I have some lore. Oh, it's that thing I just, uh, I just picked up. So in the case book, in the main quest, the very next thing that we need to do is go to the police department archives and take a look and see if we can find another crime similar to the kidnapping and um, the theft of the seal down in the cave. And then to we need to finish out the field research. So I need to go talk to the doctor at the hospital and let him know what we found. And then I need to talk to Throgmorton and tell him that somebody stole his mirror and then somebody murdered the thief, I guess. And then she sounds like a creepy old lady. That's about all we know. Hopefully we'll ask him about Francis Throgmorton that... That lady had an article. Hold on, I'm going to the left here. That lady had an article about something about a Francis Throgmorton. And that seemed important. And it was a it was a really old article. So I'm curious to see what that's about. Alright, so we're gonna go up here, slight right, and then slight left on old church. I love to see all of these the stuff from the sea that looks like it just got washed up here. I can't I wish I could pan the camera up because that big tall thing looks interesting. Here we are on old church. I don't think I've been to this particular part of town yet. This all looks new. Oh, wow. There's a big statue. Death from something. Depth. So, uh, let me just go straight up here and park. Wait, I can't park here? Are you kidding me? Can I just get out? Yeah, there we go. I don't need a dock. Whoa, look at this. Is this like the... That's not the edge of the map. I guess this part of the street is just totally blocked. Wow. Interesting. Maybe the flood caused something to collapse there? Uh-oh. Don't worry, lady. It'll all look better in the morning. Where am I going? So I couldn't go that way, so I'm just going around Howard and then a right on Freedom. Which one's Howard? This one. And then we'll take a right on Freedom. Here's the newspaper. Check the street sign here. You can tell how reliant I am on something like Google Maps to just tell me when and where to turn because I, um, I have to refer to the map so often. So if I just take a right here and then go right here, what is this, a little park? I guess so. And then the police, yeah, here we go. Oakmont PD. I don't want to talk to that jerk again. Where were the archives? Oh, hey, can I have in there? Guess not. So, the evidence I want to look for is... We already got that one. A letter to Mr. Throgmorton. No. No. Where's Glover gone? No. Wait, where's the one? So in the case book, it says right here. Come on. 
Why is it not going up? There, gosh. So it says, one of the assailants was killed in the fight. He carried a dagger and a peculiar golden amulet which resembled a fisheye. This can't be the only attack they have carried out. There must be evidence of more such crimes throughout the city. Evidence of more such crimes? So I interpret that as that I need to come to the archive and look. But the thing is, is you can't really search for anything. You have to match it to what evidence we have here on the left. And so investigate and discover. Well, I guess I could use that. Okay. So subject would be suspect evidence. It did say what kinds of evidence. So maybe criminal pattern. I don't know. We're just kind of guessing here. Um, it's going to be all over the city, so let's go crime, and let's try violent. Nothing. Um, maybe let's try instruments of crime. Nothing. District? I don't know, because I feel like it's all over the city, right? Maybe this. This. Okay, well, let's try... Instruments of crime. This is... Maybe let's try changing this up because maybe we could have witnesses that spoke about something like this. Hmm. Property crimes, misdemeanors, complaints. Let's try a complaint. Witnesses. Documentation. Hold on, hold on, okay. Gosh. All right, let me look in the casebook again, because the casebook says there must be evidence of more such crimes throughout the city. Oops. So, and the note over here says, wants me to find Professor Doe. To do this, I must investigate and discover who attacked his expedition and kidnapped her. Violent crimes suspects instruments mm. let's try instead let's try documentation criminal pattern okay nothing what about victims and then violent crimes and then criminal pattern maybe I'm not searching the right thing I don't know I feel like I've tried everything I don't think it would be an impounds. Documentation. Suspects, witnesses, officers. Hmm. I'm stumped. Throgmorton wants me to find Professor to do this. One of the assailants was killed in the fight. He carried a dagger with a peculiar golden amulet. I don't know. I guess maybe I could try the newspaper. I just kind of felt like this would be something. We're kind of searching for a crime. So it seemed like we would be looking in the police archives. Am I going the right way? Probably not. So, I gotta go back around. So, this way, and then a left, and then another left. Oh, there's a barricade there. I don't know. I don't know if this is gonna work either. But I guess I'm not sure what else to try. Okay, so this would be after the flood. People would be, I don't know, section? 
front page, current events, articles and interviews, district. Okay, so I think we're going to have to use these three. So people, let's try... Officials, maybe, because it's a professor? I have no idea. Um, then let's try articles and interviews. Darn it. No. Okay, so let's go back to articles and interviews, and let's try celebrities. I don't know. Commoners? Journalists. What in the world? It's definitely got to be after the flood, right? I don't know. Can't be advertisements. Could be current events. No. Throgmorton wants me to find Professor Harriet Doe. I must investigate and discover who attacked the expedition and kidnapped her. I have no idea. Yeah, uh, I don't know. That didn't pan out at all. How do I get out of this place? Where's the door? Can I just, uh, here, just, uh, excuse me. Thank you. I wonder, does she have anything else to say? Hold on. Stay safe. Nope. Okie dokie. Well, I don't know. Let's talk to Throgmorton and see if he has... Um, something to say to me. So, uh, let's fast travel. If I just go right back around the corner here, then I can fast travel to, uh, Old Grove or whatever the name of his neighborhood is. Hey, knock Oop. it off! Sorry, sorry, excuse me. I'm in a hurry, I guess. Yeah, the fast travel locations are these little old school phone boots. So, let's go right here. Hold to fast travel. And the load times in this game are so fast. Bam, already there. So, uh, here's Throgmorton's place. Oh, I forgot. I should have went to the hospital I was down there. Oh, well, I can fast travel. I don't... I don't necessarily want to fast travel everywhere, but... My god, they're still having a funeral? I've finished the investigation. I've looked into your delicate matter. Excellent. Don't spare me any details. Glover's dead. He was killed by a man named Sidney Stokes, who happened to be robbing his place. He wasn't working alone. He had a partner, Phil O'Connell. Didn't end up much better. All over uh, some kind of mirror, apparently. Truck. Where is a mirror now? Their employer has it. Uh, some mystery woman. I didn't get her name, but she obviously wasn't fooling around. I see. So, my enigmatic competitor has finally shown her hand. And the thieves are both dead, you say? Both of them are dead? No, we're going to report him because there was no reason for him to murder that man. Sidney Stokes managed to make it out in one piece. Now, if I had to guess, he's probably holed up at his home. Want the address? I would welcome it. I'll take pleasure in uh, educating him on some, uh, shall we say, essential truths. Yeah, do whatever you want. Could have told me? Could have told me about what? About reward. Um, about the reward. All right. I've held up my end of the bargain. Now, it's your turn. Of course, Mr. Reed. Here's your payment. Now that you know everything, would you accept the second part of the job? Oh, God. Let me guess. You want me to track down the mirror. And the woman, yes. I'm sure. And the one who so rudely snatched it from my grasp. Obviously, we're going to accept. Duh. Right. Only got one lead, though. Our culprit had a bone to pick with someone named Francis. Mean anything to you? Ah, yes. That is without doubt my father, Francis Throgmorton. K rest his soul. How was he involved? What's he got to do with this? I found mention of the mirror in his records. 
That's what led me to take interest. Did he have enemies? I mean, I think everybody in this family has enemies. About the records? You mentioned your father left records. Mind if I take a gander at them? The prospect of you rifling through my father's possessions does not fill me with joy, Mr. Reed. But if that's what you need, so be it. Take this key. Awesome. A delicate matter complete. We got a bunch of XP. And now we have a new case. I'm not in the mood for chit chat, Mr. Reed. All right, all right, fine. Now we can rifle through Mr. Throgmorton's place. That's kind of exciting. I think the only locked door was upstairs. Those ladies are going to be completely dehydrated from all the crying. Yeah, nothing in here. Look at this, like, silk bedding. Big grand piano. Aha! Oh boy. Seems an ambitious expedition. Eh? Like father, like son. Okay. He's got some kind of trinkets here. Huh, curious craftsmanship. These must be worth a fortune. I'm looking sharp, but I guess that's the point. <laughs> oh, God. That's hilarious. No way. Rosie. 1891 must have been a busy year for Francis. <laughs> oh, gosh. Exclusive interview. Francis Throgmorton's expedition to Africa has proven to be one of the most ambitious, if sadly unappreciated, undertakings of 1891. He's returned with numerous historical artifacts, invaluable anthropological research, a newborn son, christened Robert, and a plethora of fascinating cultural insights. Today, in an exclusive interview with the Oakmont Chronicle, he has agreed to share some of those insights with us. That's it. I bet we'll be able to go to the Chronicle and pull that archive out. Hmm. Oh, hold up. I see the, uh, yeah. Private Correspondence, 12-12-1894. Francis, divorce is no simple matter these days. It never has been in my legal practice. You must clearly define the fault you shall present to the court, the most common option being cruelty, adultery, or an incurable mental illness. It's my impression that your firstborn's death at the tender age of seven dealt a blow to Bethany's health. I do sincerely hope she recovers, but the court won't share my concerns. Besides, Oakmont Asylum seems to be a very well-run place. Regards, Chauncey. The death? Hold on. The firstborn's death at the age of seven dealt a blow to Bethany's health. Now, that kid looks a little familiar. It does? Didn't look familiar to me. So we don't have all the evidence collected yet. What else can I look at in here? I already checked this, right? Yeah, I already looked at these. Curious craftsmanship. These must be worth a fortune. I don't think we need to hear that awful joke again. That's all I can look at. And then... This is the funeral downstairs. Hmm. I feel like I'm missing something here. Or else, you know, why wouldn't it say all evidence collected? Right? 
Nothing in the piano. There was nothing like on the floor. Yeah. I can't get over to that book, so I don't think that's anything. Hmm. Yeah, there's uh, nothing else to see in here. I don't think. Oh. Wait, that's just the door. I thought this was like another door. Yeah, there's uh There's nothing else here. Right, there was only one door. Yeah, this is just a wall. Okay. Well. Let me just take another... Oh. Oh, we have a basement. There's gotta be something... Something creepy going on down here, right? This guy seems like a creepy guy. At least there's no monsters here. So far, this is actually a surprisingly normal basement. Rather a disappointment. Look at this old Singer sewing machine. Wow, it's got the the foot pedal. Where you had to like pump it with your foot, you know, because it's uh, not electric like all the ones today are. There's seriously nothing to see down here, really? Or am I just blind? Yeah. Wow. Lame. I already saw this. Has touched him up well. What's this? Uh oh, this is a back door. Oh my god, it's gonna bother me that we haven't collected all of the evidence here. But I just don't see what else there is to to look at. I feel like I've interacted with everything you could interact with, and he doesn't want to talk to me. Oh. Tell me about Bethany, your father's expedition. Okay, hold on just Have a good day. Yeah, okay. Hold on just a second. I just want to look at this. This is all new stuff. Hmm. Okay, I was just curious. I'm still trying to figure out what these symbols mean on these things. Okay, let's talk to him. Tell me about Bethany. I had some questions about Bethany. I beg your pardon? I don't believe I know anyone of that name. That has well, to be a lie. during the investigation. See, your father divorced, and his ex-wife's name was Bethany. Say no more. It is... Beyond my earliest memories, but even if it weren't, my father's business is his own. I shall not engage in gossip. I don't think it's gossip so much as it's just, you know, history. Your father led an expedition back in 1891. Do you know anything about it? I'm not the best person to ask, I'm afraid. I was a babe in arms back then, and my father never made his findings public. It is a great shame, of course. His work would have turned the science of evolution on its head. Yeah, I can see that. Have a good day. Oh, there we go. Yes, okay, good. My OCD about the these quests will be satisfied. Okay, so I thought they were joking about that gorilla being Throgmorton's... Uh, Francis Throgmorton, like he he said something about he had a good year or a good time or something like that, and 
he was busy or something. And I thought he was joking, but honestly, from what Throgmorton just said, it sounds like maybe not. Okay, so let me... Actually, I'm going to head to the fast travel, and then we're going to go over here to the hospital because I want to finish out that other quest. Take me to the hospital. Now, which way was the hospital from here? I forgot already. See what I mean? I'm just so... totally dependent on Google Maps. Or like, you know, some kind of a navigation. Smoke break in front of the hospital. Here we go. I visited the patient I with the weird into the dreams. Shop of your patient. Unfortunately, he committed suicide. Oh, I wish I could say I was surprised. Sorry for wasting your time. It wasn't entirely a waste. I found some evidence that sheds light on the origin of those creatures. Uh, for what it's worth, Professor Westerbrook calls them Stygian harvesters. But uh, what is it you found? Your patient's diary. His dreams became too real, too confronting. He tried to stay awake using stimulants, but those Stygians appeared near him when he slept, as if they were leaking from his nightmares. Hmm, a psychic phenomenon or manifestation. How unnerving. I'm afraid he's not the only one suffering from such dreams. Oh, we know. I checked the house of the diseased man, Bells. His family has turned into those creatures, too. Huh. Fascinating. Did you discover the source of the contamination? A creature emerged from their sunken basement and transformed them. I think its vomit is contagious. Hmm. If so, we must quarantine it. Those Lethian revenants are a huge threat. This city could not survive an epidemic like that. What did you call them? Uh, Lethian revenants. Oh, you may thank the university professor for the beast's unwieldy names. Interesting. More creatures to investigate? Aw, oh, man. I found your studies rather interesting, Dr. Grant. Got more places to search? What dedication. Thank you. Your findings have been a rich resource for the scientific cause. I've got two more places for you. More dangerous, one with huge monstrosities. Oh, but God. I'll prepare a comparable reward. Huge? Tell me. Yeah, tell me. Just tell me more. What am I getting myself into? One of Oakmont's largest stores was closed after the flood hit. A looter tried to break in, but his thievery was, shall we say, interrupted. He was set upon by a huge wild beast and hardly made it out. The question is, with the building locked up tight, how did that creature get in? Okay, that's an interesting question. Uh, what about the place with more manageable creatures? Well, there's a restaurant here with a bad reputation, not for its food, but for women disappearing. The police found nothing. I treated the partner of one missing girl. He arrived here severely injured and told me about the jumping maws. He was at the restaurant too, I suppose. Indeed. And what's curious is the place is still open. Please investigate and find out how that's possible. Bye. Bye. It's like my favorite line. Bye. Ooze sample. Oh, God. No. Gross. Westerbrook's guide. Part two. Can't carry anymore. Oh, man. I hate it when my inventory's full. Okay, so we've got some... Oh, we got some stuff in the bestiary. So the... Research on Oakmont's post-flood fauna by Professor E. Westerbrook, Oakmont University. Part 1. The Stygians. Locals brought me several kinds of creatures, saying they just appeared in their homes. The exemplars have multiple limbs with human-like palms. Okay, so these are the multi-handed things. The little, small, fast ones that I hate. 
the exemplars have multiple inhuman like palms and they're resistant to poison and acids. Only one breed, the Stygian harvester, is aggressive. It has a claw like stinger that can cause grievous oh shoot. Grievous where'd I leave off? Grievous wounds. The rarest breed of Stygian is the smoker. It emits huge amounts of fumes and then lurks among them. I'm fascinated by Stygian. Stygian weaver. Somehow it can restore the tissue of other wild beasts. See, we ran into one of those. And then this. Nightmare. These are Lethians. Lethian forms resemble humans. After numerous autopsy, I can stay with confidence that there are multiple pathogens which cause these mutations in human victims. Their bulb-like colonies act like additional hearts, ensuring the flow of lymphatic liquids filled with bacteria. The fluid is gathered in the former human's stomach and may then be expelled by the Lethians with immense force. Oop, gross. The less studied immortals have rapid regeneration and have received reports about wraiths that ha that disappeared. Yucko. Okay. So now we have two new cases here. We'll get to those. I'm not in any hurry to go searching for giant beasts. What I really want to do is this. I just can't figure out where to go, or, or how to find this. And this is the side quest, although this seems really interesting to learn about Throgmorton's family history. Hmm, okay, well, I think um, since that mental hospital is referenced, I think we're gonna go there. Kind of exciting. We haven't been there before, and who doesn't love a good mental hospital, right? I am going to go to the police archives just one more time and see if, um... Wrong way. LOL. See if I can get a clue to the main case. There's got to be something that I am just not trying. Is it this way? Kind of a big, you know, official looking building, right? Yeah, I remember going by these people on the ground. And then I think I took a left. Here we are. I'm back, officer. Uh, wrong room, whoops. Fate of the expedition. Okay, so we've got... They had fish-like features, killed in the fight, carried a dagger and a peculiar golden amulet which resembled a fish eye. Can't be the only attack. So... It was violent, yes. There was murder involved, violent. We're looking for suspects. And the only other thing is the dagger. No way. I thought I tried that. Okay. Police report. About 10.30 p.m. April 15th at the Fish Market, Eastern Shells, corner of Orchard Ave and Holly Fire. <laughs> Holy fire. Oh, my God. I apprehended a suspicious-looking inn's mother as he was stalking a young woman. The suspect had in his possession a peculiar golden amulet which resembled a fish eye. Seized as well as a dagger, seized. The suspect resisted arrest. When I tried to cuff him, he cried for help, screaming for his brothers from EOD. Several other armed Innsmouthers appeared from the fish market. I was forced to release, release said Innsmouther and retreat. The suspect got away. The case is pending further investigation. Lieutenant Phelps. Okay. Okay, well, I'm glad I figured that out. Um, that's part of the main case, and while I do want to continue on the main case, I kind of want to go to this mental hospital, because that sounds really fun. So, right here. Let's pin that, and then we can place it on the map, I guess, even though we know where it is. Now, how do I get there? It's kind of far. On the other side of... Overside. 
That's what that is, right? Now that I have the mark on top of it, I can't... I'm, like, positive that's what that is. So, let's turn... Should we avoid the water, I guess? I mean, we can't entirely avoid the water. So let me take a left and then another left. Um, I guess I'll uh, just meet you guys over there. Okay, so we're close. I think it's that big building right back here. It's way, this place is way over here on the other side of town. Oh, hello, officer. I am actually not seeing a way in, so I'm gonna... Oh, I guess maybe that was a gate. Seems kind of like this place is, um... Cut off from... Everything else by this wall and this gate. Interesting little dirt path here up to the front of the building. Um, what are you fishing for there? There's no water. Okay. Oh, I didn't expect there to be people here. For some reason. I'm looking for Bethany Throgmorton. You got any patients by that name? We'd know if we had a Throgmorton. Although, we do have a Bethany. Or rather, we did. Sh she's missing. And not on one of her usual walks. Oh? You mean she broke out? Yes. Knocked an orderly out cold. She was out the door in a moment. It took us all by surprise. She's usually harmless. Is she old and tall and thin by any chance? Her usual walks. You let patients leave the building? Oh, Bethany was harmless. And she always came back. This time, well... I've never known her to be like that. Any idea where she went? No. She had been odd recently, though. Uh, muttering to herself, and she drew this strange picture on her bedroom wall. That's interesting. Can I take a look at her room? I suppose it couldn't hurt. She had a separate room downstairs. Here's the key. But do watch out for broken glass. Bye. Bye. <laughs> so, okay, she said downstairs. Let me go check out the room, I guess. Ooh, what's this? On the mountains of truth, you can never climb in vain. Okay. This place is falling apart. Whoa. I hope there's not going to be any monsters in here. Haven't you seen the beast? Yes, I have, in fact. You see it? Yikes. What is down here? Should I go? I'm a little scared. What if I get down there and can't come back up? Oh, let's do it. <sighs> Is that a body with no head? I don't know if this was a great idea. Kind of immediately regretting this. Yeah. Oh wait, I have a thing. Hello, that's... Form Omega-4. Traveler E. Derby visited Ugoth. Next visit. Status returned to Earth at the Traveler's request. Next address. Murdoch Ave between University Street and Forefather Street Central Point. This one is noisy. Don't turn on his voice device for at least two more years. I have a headache. What? I have no idea what I just read. What's this? An indecent poster? Oh, I didn't even get a look at it. Why is my sanity dropping? Wow. Wowee. There's enough dope left in here to knock out a horse. Oh, blood. The blood's almost dry. 
What's that? Almost looks like a vent hole, but it doesn't go anywhere. Let me just take a look at these. That's like another electrical box. Key to Bethany's room. At seven years each, that's a lot of bad luck. <laughs> Glad it's not mine. Yeah. Gun shells and gunpowder. Bethany's note. All I do, I do for my dear Hammond. I cannot forget that. Shame on me for thinking that reprobate, reprobate, I don't know, squint, had more common sense than greed in him. He got the mirror, and I do not care how he did it. But when the time came for the exchange, he wanted more. So much more, he had the gall to threaten me, said he'd find a new buyer. What's done is done. No one has the right to come between a mother and her child. So that was Bethany. Throgmorton's in mourning. Young Hammond Throgmorton, Francis Throgmorton's firstborn, has been pronounced dead, mortally injured in a mysterious accident during a family holiday. Little Hammond could not be revived, despite his doctor's best efforts. The funeral will be held later this week, with only family and close friends attending. In this dark and tragic hour, we're trying to remain grateful for all we have, including baby Robert shared Francis Throgmorton. As my sole remaining heir, I will do all I can to protect him. Okay, so Hammond was Robert's brother. Well, Robert didn't mention that. Someone had a field day to facing these. Rose. Ah, the other half. Huh. Was this taken at gunpoint? There's something Someone for me to see a here. Field day to facing these. All right, all right. What is it? Oof, my sanity is. Here we go. I will find it, baby boy. I promise. Just tell me more. Okay, here we go. She was talking to the mirror. Stop right there. Okay, so this is her escape. Let's go in here. You no longer have any power over me. I have found my Hammond. He's shown me the way. She's destroying the mirrors. Randall in Salvation Harbor. Oh, I can't believe it. The answers have been there since last century. Time to piece this one together. So I think this is one, and then two, you no and then three. Any... Stop right there. Bethany escaped the asylum after getting the mirror from Glover. Her next stop looks to be a factory called Randall Glassworks. All right. Key evidence collected. So, what have we missed? I already checked that thing out. But uh, I didn't go this way the first time, so let me check this way. See if there's anything else for me to um, interact with while we're here. Maybe I can talk to her? Seems that Bethany had a thing for mirrors. You know anything about that? Oh, yes. Poor soul. She was convinced there was a boy called Hammond living in her mirrors. She talked to him every day. I see. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Should we just go up? I mean, did I go? I didn't go this way. Watch your pocket. Some patients here have wandering fingers. Oh. Okay. Oh. The records. All right, hold on. In all chaos, there's Cosmo. There's a Cosmo. In all disorder, a secret order. 
Okay, if you say so. Water me. Don't just stare at my leaves. What? He thinks he's a plant. Ew, are these what urinals used to look like? Let's play. Ah, uh, no thanks. The end is nigh. It will begin again. What is down comes up. The seed is sowed. Can you hear? Somebody singing. Beautiful. Beautiful. Can you hear it? Yep. Certified psycho. I, I still hear those voices. Records room, that's where I came from. This is a big place. Eventually, you'll end up where you are meant to be and will be doing what you are supposed to do. Right. I'm not what has happened to me. I'm what I chose to become. Look at these. This is why I don't trust the ocean, you guys. Aha. What can I do for you? Mm, nothing now, I guess. Oh, I'll take this. Can't carry anymore. Hold on now. What can I not carry anymore? A gun or a shell casings? So let's make some bullets. I need rags. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Hmm. I'm just kind of looking for loot, I guess. It all depends on how we look at things. I don't see anything in that picture, so I don't know what they're talking about. Okay, I guess we can get out of here. So our our next, um, we have two main tasks now. We could follow up on the main storyline and head to, where? Head to... Talk to, is this a fish market, I guess? We gotta go investigate a fish market? And somehow that's connected to the main story, somehow. And then we have, what's this? I found a weird looking cylindrical device with a brain inside, but it looks broken. I'm not sure if it was made by a human. There was a delivery form attached to it, and it seems like there may be more of those devices around the city. Yeah, this was that weird thing. So that sounds pretty interesting. And then um, we can follow up on Bethany and this baby Hammond. So we've got some really interesting side quests going on here. And then, of course, the main quest. But um, let's go ahead and end the episode here. And then next time, we'll probably follow up on the main quest and then maybe some more through the looking glass. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you're enjoying this series. I'll catch you in the next one. Hey, everyone. Brittany here with Desert Bee Games. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video and you'd like to help my channel grow, all you got to do is hit the like and subscribe buttons below. Thanks again, and I'll see you next time for more.